Welcome, radiant beings, to another journey of discovery and understanding. High vibrational beings are emissaries of light, tasked with the sacred mission to elevate the energies of our planet. Their presence isn't just a catalyst of transformation, but also a mirror reflecting the hidden corners of our society and individual psyches. These individuals emanate frequencies of love, peace, and enlightenment, aiming to facilitate global shifts towards higher consciousness. However, not everyone receives these luminous entities with open arms. There are specific types of people who, whether due to their circumstances, beliefs, or experiences, find themselves unsettled or even triggered by those who radiate higher energy vibrations. Today, we will explore six types of individuals who might find themselves unsettled or challenged by these radiant entities. One, the skeptics. Skeptics are perhaps the most straightforward category of individuals who struggle with high vibrational beings. They value empirical evidence and the scientific method above all else and tend to question anything that lacks visible proof or logical grounding. This group includes scientists, academics and intellectuals who find comfort and safety in the tangible and the measurable. The presence of high vibrational beings challenges their worldview, presenting phenomena that don't easily fit into the neat boxes of traditional science. These beings often talk about concepts like energy fields, spiritual awakenings, and other dimensions, ideas that are typically dismissed by skeptics as pseudoscience. The enthusiastic claims of light workers about unseen energies and the power of consciousness expansion might trigger a dismissive or even hostile reaction among skeptics who fear the dilution of rigorous scientific standards and the propagation of what they perceive as irrational beliefs. 2. The Materialists In stark contrast to the ethereal and spiritual realms in which high vibrational beings operate, materialists place their values and energies in the physical and material aspects of existence. This group is heavily invested in the world of things. Money, property, and tangible assets dictate their sense of security and success. High vibrational beings with their focus on spiritual wealth and disinterest in material gains can seem both baffling and threatening to materialists. The light worker's emphasis on spiritual practices like meditation and energy healing which prioritize mental and spiritual health over material acquisition, can trigger feelings of insecurity or disdain in materialists. They might view these spiritual pursuits as frivolous or unproductive, feeling unsettled by the idea that someone could find fulfillment without material wealth. Three, the power holders. This group includes those in positions of significant power and control such as politicians, corporate leaders, and heads of large institutions. They have a vested interest in maintaining the status quo from which they benefit. High vibrational beings often challenge existing hierarchies and systems, advocating for a world that values spiritual growth, communal well-being, and the dissolution of ego-driven leadership. The messages of unity, equality, and spiritual democracy promoted by lightworkers can be deeply unsettling for those who hold power. The fear here stems from potential loss of control and influence, as the values propagated by these high vibrational beings could incite changes that threaten their authority and the structures that support it. Four, the cynics. Cynics carry a deep-seated mistrust towards anything that appears overly optimistic or idealistic. Having often been disappointed by life, they harbor a defensive pessimism, protecting themselves from further disillusionment. 
High vibrational beings with their radiant positivity and promises of transformative spiritual shifts can trigger cynical individuals' deepest anxieties about trust and hope. The enthusiastic idealism of lightworkers may be perceived as naive or detached from the harsh realities of the world. Cynics might react with sarcasm, criticism, or outright rejection, viewing high vibrational beings as deluded or manipulative, exploiting people's hopes for their own purposes. Five, the traditionalists. Traditionalists are deeply rooted in their cultural, religious, or societal norms and may view the innovative spiritual practices of high vibrational beings as a threat to their way of life. This group values preservation over progress, often adhering strictly to the rituals, beliefs, and systems handed down through generations. The New Age spiritualism and eclectic practices of lightworkers, drawing from various traditions and often reinventing them, can be deeply unsettling for traditionalists. They may perceive these practices as disrespectful or heretical, diluting or misinterpreting sacred traditions. The fear here is of cultural erosion and the loss of identity that could follow if these new spiritual paradigms were to take hold. Six, the wounded. Lastly, there are those who have been deeply hurt or traumatized in their past. For these individuals, the high vibrational being's light can unintentionally cast a shadow over their inner pain. The emphasis on positivity, healing, and transformation can be overwhelming for someone not ready to face their wounds. High vibrational beings with their intense frequencies of unconditional love, positivity, and enlightenment, often act as mirrors to those around them, reflecting back inner truths and unhealed wounds. For wounded souls, the pure and potent energy of these beings can be overwhelming, inadvertently shining a light on suppressed emotions and unresolved traumas. This confrontation with one's own shadows is not easy. It can feel invasive and painful, triggering defensive reactions or denial. However, this triggering is also a powerful opportunity for healing. By facing these dormant wounds, individuals are given a chance to heal and transform, encouraged by the high vibrational energy that initially disturbed their equilibrium, guiding them towards a path of self-awareness and ultimate healing. As we wrap up today's enlightening journey into the realm of high vibrational beings and their profound impact on those they encounter, it's clear that the world of spiritual awakening is rich with transformative possibilities. We've explored how these radiant entities can serve as catalysts for healing, often triggering deep-seated emotions and wounds in those around them. This isn't just about spiritual theory. It's about real-life experiences and the powerful personal transformations that can occur when we open ourselves to higher frequencies of consciousness. If today's video resonated with you or sparked curiosity about your own spiritual journey, please take a moment to hit that like button. It really helps support the channel. Share this video with friends or family who you think might benefit from understanding more about high vibrational beings and their role in our spiritual evolution. Your engagement creates a ripple effect, spreading awareness and encouragement to those who might be on the brink of their own profound transformation. I'd also love to hear about your experiences. Whatever your story, share it in the comments below. Your insights not only enrich our community's understanding, but also provide support and validation for others who might be going through similar experiences. And finally, if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel, please do so now. By subscribing, you'll stay updated on all our latest content, full of insights and guidance on your spiritual journey. Together, let's continue to explore the mysteries of the universe 
and raise the vibrational energy of our planet. Thank you for joining me today. Keep shining your light, and I'll see you in the next video.